Hey guys, welcome to the 163rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our Hangman project. And before we really get into the tutorial, there's just a couple things here we're going to have to do. We're just going to want to add another label, and this label will basically just hold all of the letters that you've missed. And I just forgot to tell you to do this on uh, the first tutorial when we started this, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. And just change the text of this to missed, because this will hold the missed characters, or the missed letters. And the next thing that we have to do right here is instead of just setting um, this character letter equal to text box one's text to a character array, we're actually going to want to convert that to lower first. So you're just going to want to do dot to lower and then dot to character array. And to lower will basically just convert um, every letter in there to lowercase. So it won't matter if you put an uppercase A or a lowercase A, it'll always end up being lowercase. And all the letters in the words are lowercase. So it doesn't matter what case you submit the letter in. All right, so basically what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is accounting for when a user misses a letter. So this if statement right here basically just checks to see if the letter that you submitted is in the word. And we're just going to want to put an else statement here so if it's not in the word, we can do something. And the first thing that we're going to have it do is have a message box be displayed to the user to let them know that the letter that they submitted isn't in the word. So we're going to say the letter that you guessed, oops, guessed, isn't in the word. And now we're just going to put sorry as the um, title of the message box. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is just add the letter that they missed to this label right here so that they will know which letters that they missed. So we're just going to say label2, which is that missed label up there. We're going to say the text, and then we're going to use the plus equals operator to add to the label so that we're not resetting it each time. And then we're going to just add a space to it so that each letter isn't like all congested and you can actually read it. And then we're going to add the letter that you missed. So we're just going to use this letter character up here. So letter, and since it's a character, we're going to have to convert it into a string, so just to string plus, and then we're just going to have a comma separating each character as well, so again, it's just easier to read. And finally, we're going to want to draw the next body part. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create an integer um, that will hold the amount of letters that you've missed. So we're just going to call this int amount and set it equal to zero up here. And then we're just going to have that integer increase by one each time that you miss a letter. So we're just going to have amount uh, plus plus down here to increment it by one. And then we're going to draw the body part. So we're going to say draw body part. And what we could do here is have a whole bunch of if statements saying like if amount is zero then draw the head, if amount is one draw the left eye and stuff like that. Or we could just cast that amount uh, as a body part. So we can just say body parts and then that amount. And basically it will just turn this integer into a body part. So how do we know which number goes with which body part? Well, it starts at zero and just goes up by one from there. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, and so on. All right, and that just makes it way easier and now we don't have to have if statements or anything like that. All right, so let's just go ahead and check to see if this works. So let's just go and submit a letter right here. I'll submit A. Nope, the letter you guessed isn't in the word. Let's try B. Nope, the letter you guessed isn't in the word. How about E? Nope. I don't know, maybe S? Nope. All right, so at least we know that this works. So the final thing that we're going to do is find out when you lose. So after this increments down here, we're going to see if you lost. And the maximum amount of body parts that it will draw is eight. So we're going to say if amount equals eight, then we're just going to have a message box show saying you lost. So we'll just say here, sorry, but you lost. And in the next tutorial, we're going to get into what's going to happen when you lose and how to reset the game. But that's it for this tutorial, so see you guys.